we're going to add to the vast um, Star Wars collection that we have. So we've done eight. I don't know if you can see the TIE Fighter in the case and the droid. That was fun. Imperial Cruiser R2, Millennium, at at uh, Vader ship, and an X-Wing fighter. So we just won the monthly newsletter picture um, contest. So we got some swag. So we had two sheets, it's medium to hard. So if you remember, this is the little guy from uh, Return of the Jedi. So two sheets. Shouldn't be too awful. They're pretty cool. Let's get started. Okay, back at it. We're into it. Down to um, pretty much the first page. But just one a few comments is a lot of times don't bend <clears throat> things in place until you get all the little stuff in. It makes it a lot easier to do the the um, the bends. So see, they wanted us to fold that early and then start all the um, little tiny stuff. But it's best to leave it open and then it's easy to bend it in later. And then secondly, this is where your vast amount of tools come in handy. Here's a, a little dowel set I bought online that has um, two cone shaped and then small ones. But what works really good are obviously um, drill bits. So as you can see how tiny this piece is and you had to bend the cones and if you look at it in magnifying glass you see how tiny that is. It takes a lot of time to get those in and get them right. So again, just for reference, how tiny, and here's my pinky finger. But that's actually this piece here. See how it's cone like that? So it's super hard to get that right, unless you have the right amount of tools. So again, can't stress, I'll give you a panning shot of all my um various tools have a lot of um pliers cutters round needle nose etc always help these are life's hair the um flat needle or um pliers and then what it's a really a good kit to get <clears throat> is you won't always use it, but it comes in super handy as well. Is a jeweler's kit. It comes with a lot of small stuff. As you can see, this item here has a little cone, etc. Just all these little things um, you can buy online. And here's my. Um, my set of needle nails pliers that with the rounded ones and then just vast amounts of um exacto knives and then this little guy oh, not that one oh, this little guy here is a gem I got online as well it's for bending um big big long pieces this one i don't think has it but you can see that slot so you stick the metal in there uh, from the model and then you bend it over so it's all nice and uniform that's a really good tool to have if you can find it again i found it on amazon uh, along with 
this little guy came as a little Metal Earth kit. All right, we'll see you in a few. Again, just for a quick note, we haven't done any more steps, but I wanted to mention that it's highly recommended that where it's a C, um, 360 view. They're not always great. Um, the older ones are pretty good. Here's a shot on the iPad. You're able to get um, the regular view and then you can toggle around. This is extremely helpful. You can zoom in. So always want to do that first. The bottom view. Top view. And, and your regular that will allow you again to zoom, scroll, and go around. And again, not all have the top and bottom, but um, it's a good thing to do. And they use a QR code to get that. So before you start any model, and I've done many, um, as you could see in the, earlier in the video, just the Star Wars collection, but I think this is probably my 50th or so model. First thing I always do is hit the um, 3D um, version online and check it out. And then if it's new, they're not always online, so you have to be patient with the folks. And then lastly, I also wanted to show you, again, part of the tools are always have a good set of um, drill bits because they're different um, diameters that help you. And then pens and pencils. As you can see here, I use these for doing cones. So this piece that, oops, excuse me, will do here. That's meant to be a cone shaped in the model. will be easily done using um, this type of shape. So just all household items, um, paint brushes have different diameters and shapes. Um, cylinders of all sorts come in handy. And then here's my little bowl of goodies. Um, it comes in handy. These balls also do well for doing the rounding. And you push it around so different marbles or steel ball sets um, are ideal for doing cones. And just a cylinders. Coins work well for large um, items, but you'll see we'll be bending that into a circle, which is pretty tiny when you look at um, that compared to my fingernail. So just most of the stuff you can find around the household, and uh, we'll see you in a few. Hey there, again, we're back. Show you a little progress. So we finished all the way up to the first like major piece, which usually is, um, I'll just say it's done, but so far looking good. Um, one point of interest you might want to pay attention to is the guns on each side is that when you're putting on the disc, uh, the or orientation needs to be correct because there's three slots. So when I first um, put it in, the guns were facing down and I had already twisted them. And a lot of times you'll have to use um, some creative methods if you can't back your way out of it at once you've twisted something. So I was able to twist the guns um, to or orientation forward and it worked out luckily. It's a little loose, but um, now they're facing like they should, but that was uh, just an oversight on my part. But um, looking good so far, step one. We are good to go, and we'll hope to see you soon. Finished the uh, midsection, which was this portion here. Um, fairly simple. What you want to do is be careful on this step here with the bending and the not forgetting 
Um, obviously that you're going to have these two rings and make sure you get this one on the inside before you bend it. And then what will happen is you'll have to bend that around and then clip in the, um, the tabs that will fold over on the top. So again, not too hard, just that, that one last step. You really got to be careful with this piece right here um, to get that right. Alrighty, so moving along, now we'll start with um, the legs here. So we'll see you in a bit. Alright, we're back. So we finished the first leg. Um, it wasn't too bad, just you, know, you got to make sure you watch the uh, direction so you get all the engraved parts right and then um, just watch on this little part here make sure that um, you do put this piece in first and then that because it goes inside I missed that part and was thinking I'd be easier to put the ring in first that's not the case you want to put that in first then the ring other than that um, it's pretty good so here we are this stage and here we are looking good see you in a few all right back again now well, we completed both legs nothing to concern with why doing all those steps went pretty pretty smooth Again, just that one um, piece you want to put on first that we talked about earlier. Back in a few. All right, we're back and finished. Um, came out pretty good. And uh, as always, the final, some final assembly stuff when you're doing the major parts together to hook up can be painful but you just got to be patient so a couple of things to note getting that bottom front piece in in um, one of the last steps just be patient and tweak to try to get those two tabs in so that you can put the, the side in and it's important remember in the beginning that one side you left um, open that's because you need to put that all those pieces in and then close it up but because it's front and narrow there the two tabs here and on the other side was super hard to, to get in and just took a lot of trial and error and then there you have it so appreciate you watching sign up subscribe and I'll do uh, as many Middle Earth models as I can. Um, as I said, I'm up to over 50. I didn't really film a lot of them. Um, just a couple. So hopefully I'll do more now. Finally, we're going to put this guy with his Star Wars friends here. And then um, usually it's kind of quiet, or I should say always. I keep all the packages and put them back in and keep everything so you can show people just how they start out and how they end so just a good idea to do and there you have it the star wars collection up to nine <laughs>